Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Baldur's Gate 3. We are here at the Gazette, the it's the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. I had to use a bunch of boxes to uh, basically pogo stick my way up to the roof where there is a barricade, and now we are going to smash and gain access inside. Still alive, so that's progress. Now, because they've already kicked us out, I do believe we are going to have to be sneaky about going in here, so I think... I'm gonna take Asterion in. Um, let's let's dismiss the rat. Well, hello. Uh, can we? There we go. All right, and let's see. Let's go to the overhead view. Where are we at? We are up here. All right, let's jump down. Oh, that's going to hurt us. Of course it is. Okay, so we need, we need things. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know we have some feather fall. Yep, let me grab, let me grab a potion of that. Throw that over here. Okay, so what I want to do is this. I want to use... Where did it go? I want to use that, and then I want to cast the invisibility on myself. <coughs> so let's see. Let's open that up. Okay, so here we go. Feather fall. Jump. Casting invisibility. Going into turn-based mode. Okay. So, now that we are down here, let's start the mission, shall we? Mission Sabotage the Press. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You can call it whatever you want, but we're going. We're doing things. A 15. Come on, big numbers. That works for me. Even without the bonuses. All right, so let's come out here. Come this way. I wonder... I wonder what that lever is for. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, let's pass our turn. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Pass the turn, and here we are. Okay, so we still have invisibility nine turns. We still have eight turns of feather fall. So let's do let's do this. Let's run over here. You know what? I'm gonna pull the lever just in case. I don't think it'll do anything. I'm not seeing anything. All right. Well, let's jump down. Um, I think it's this door. Okay, nobody heard a thing. Good. Y'all just gonna have to sit there and wait. Okay, something happened. Something moved. Uh, maybe whatever I flipped the switch, something happened. Um, did anything up here happen? Oh, that came down. Okay, so what is up there? I don't even know what's up here. Oh, that's from a door that is outside, I guess. Yeah, okay. Never mind. We don't even need to mess with that. Let's crack it open. Yep, let's crack it open. Wow, we failed. That's not good. Um, try again. 
There we go. It's odd the Sterion normally doesn't miss like that. Okay, I think that's the door we came through, so we'll want to go through here. It's still saying we're in turn-based mode. Do we? Oh, yes, we do need to stay in turn-based mode. There is a watcher right there. Okay, where did he... I don't know where he... Oh, he's over there. Okay, so we got a door here. We've got a door there. Got another door here. Another watcher. And a red door. I bet you that red door is where we got to go. I can... Yeah... I can already see how the game is going to do this. So I guess if you don't have invisibility, you're supposed to probably sneak down here. Maybe even like duck into one of these rooms to avoid their watch. But with plenty of invisibility, I'm just going to make a run for it. We have how many turns left? We have six turns. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think ten turns is a lot of turns to get something like sneaking around done, but it it does a fairly good job of it. Yeah, I'm not sure what is curious, but I'm not messing around, wasting anything. We're we're going. Yes, go in here. And you know what? Shut that door for me. There we go. I'm sure you do crave blood, Lazelle. Alright, so here is the press. Well, let's do it. You approach the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oh? Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognized you. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly was right. You aren't much of a looker. Who is Dolly Dolly Dolly? How do you know Dolly? How do I not know Dolly? Who's Dolly? We both love cheeky words. She does all the shouting. I do the writing. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly. To free Dolly. Why don't we change the headline? We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. Could it have been the fairy? Maybe the fairy's name was Dolly. I bet you it was. Okay, um, sounds good to me. How do we do that? Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. Look there. <laughs> now, you've got to find a new article to replace it. Okay, where can I find the stuff to print a new broad broadsheet? Listen, mate, I'm already doing you a favor. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. As the old saying goes, ours is not to wonder why. Ours is but to print or die. To print or die, huh? Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. What do we got? Gandhian auto printer manual. Yeah, let's go. Let's go read that, shall we? Uh, auto printer manual using the auto printer is a two step process. Step one, load your headline. Printing is as easy as opening a hatch, placing your desired article in the machine. Once the auto printer is loaded, it will animate and begin pumping out copies until either the ink reservoir or paper hopper is empty. Step two, endless profit. Now your exceptional journalism will be ready for delivery to your vast readership. You'll need a you'll need it with the amount of broadsheets this thing will print. Okay, it's not funny. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Curse breakers or curse makers, and then note to self. Oh, we're not in. Ooh, we're not in. Uh, we're not in invisibility mode anymore. Let's get over here and let's see what this one says. Okay, so this one says, this article's Weasley words weave a terrible tale about you, potentially reputation shattering if you print, if you put to print. Well, I don't want to use that one. Let's see here. Uh, my dearest... Edvard, our new gift from the venerable Lord Gortash has already outstripped any production records. The manual printer set, they're clever, uh, those Gondians. Shame their foundry is such an eyesore. No, we're fully on board with the Gondians and their fantastic steel watch. That's the new line. In fact, the foundry could be argued to be even accent to to even accent gray harbor my i think i feel a travel feature coming on all my love okay yeah that was pointless i'll go ahead and take it though we got anything in the books over here the wonders of Fandolin. okay I don't care who keeps messing with the printer and adding mistakes to our edition. I'll dock all of your pay if it doesn't cease immediately. Okay. All right, here you pass your eyes over a Gondian report concerning the Shadow Curse. Landmarks are sketched quite expertly with special attention paid to areas where the curse hangs thickest. Of interest, the report ends with a recommendation for someone called the High Artis Artisifer. Uh, the recommendation reads thusly, it is a geographic... geographic it is a geographic key, graphy, geography, geography unsalvage, unsalvageable. Shouldn't it be geographical unsalvage, unsalvageable? I don't know. Uh, high artificer, the curse ambiguity makes it inscrutable as well as deadly. It is the shared belief amongst our party that this area to be designated as imperative to avoid on Gandhian maps and for all future expeditions to be summarily halted, discontinued, and not reconsidered thereafter. Okay, so the little Gandhians do not want to go into the cursed lands for any reason. Nothing in there. Wolves in sheep's clothing. What is that one? This article, Weasley words, Weasley words weave a terrible tale about you, 
Potentially reputations shattering if you put to print. So what? So which one do I put to print then? The Curse Breaker or Curse Makers article weaves a terrible tale about you potentially reputation shattering if you put. So both of those are just rubbish. So why would I want to use rubbish? Uh oh. Hang on, I hit the Windows key. Stupid Windows key. Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Let's go read it. Set another earthquake shaking our home. Increase in missing persons. Does the counting house sink deeper? Could your spouse be a secret cultist? Old Garlow's place occupied. And Elf Song Tavern kicks off a new competition. Join the laugh riot now. Too much haddock, make fish cakes. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's something that... Oops, don't do that. Oh, here's one in the trash here. Adventurers are best hope for the city. This article shining commendation of your deeds and the alliances would, uh, would do wonders for your reputation if you put the print nice. The Check pot. sheet article engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> you better. Ready to serve some discount? Absolutely. How delightful. Okay, so we've got this guy. Let's go ahead and open up our inventory and make sure we got the right word or the right one. Adventurers are best hope for the city. Insert. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The Duke's mouth. An article marked for the editor's desk that looks like it never went to print. There's a sickness in our city, dear reader. It nibbles on the council's ear in private audience chambers. It clangs around our streets in still automatons, and it whispers sweet nothings from the pages of this very broadsheet. The fetid presence of Lord Inver Gortash is rotting our city in its very core, and this reporter is personally ashamed to work for a publication, no propaganda vehicle, that allows the infection to spread. There's so much to the story, dear reader, so much, and I'm excited to share it with you. Yes, you, Evtard, consider this my notice of res resignation. Holly Foes, investigative journalist, newly freelance. Huh. Okay. Uh, dear Miss Foes, while the mouth likes to nurture an atmosphere of open and honest debate within our newsroom, we draw the line at conspiracy, intimidation, and libellous behavior you have become and are fostering a toxic, unjournalistic presence in the workplace. And while it brings, brings me no joy, you've left me no choice. I do not accept your resignation. You are fired without pay effective immediately. Any further harassment of myself, our staff, or any of our generous benefactors will force my hand in pursuing criminal action. All the best. Evtard Needle, Editor-in-Chief. Wow. It, it, that's funny. She basically said, hey, I quit. And he's like, no. You can't quit because I've fired you. 
I always find it funny when people say that, like, you know, either way, they're not there. So, yeah, just, just let it be. Just let it be at that point. An open letter on oppression in peacocks. I think I've read that one before. Yeah, go ahead and pick that one up. Okay, so now I guess I guess we have to sneak back out because this is a dungeon, technically. I can't just fast travel away. So let me do this. Let me come back in here, and I am going to swap out rings. And let's get over here at the doorway. Hold on. Before we do that, let's make sure the printing press doesn't have anything else to say. Paper's printing right now, pal. Should be on the streets tomorrow. Nice. All right, invisibility. Please and thank you. I'm just curious. If there's anything in here that needs my attention, silver ingot uh, regarding portrait production, a public danger. Oh well, we've already got we've already got the one that makes us look like a uh, a good guy. So I'm not really seeing everything anything else. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to risk I don't want to risk it because Asterion can't fight these two by himself. So, let's just try to get as far far through here as we can. Upstairs is a different story because I can get back up, but... Maybe if we can ever figure out a way to disable these guys, we can come back and properly raid this thing. There we go. All right, all we got to do now is get out of here. Yep, trust no one. Good advice. Yes, let's. Never a dull moment. Action, not reaction. 
I mean, I could go back in there and jump back out, but I think we'll just go through the front door. Ooh, we failed. Try again. There we go. Alright, we should be far enough away now. We should be able to just exit out of there. Come back up here. Group all. And you know what? Let's just go to camp. Haha. Uh -huh. And just like that, it is done. Done, done, done. And nobody will be the wiser until it is printed. And unless they unless they proof check it. I think we'll be alright. Make sure Asterion doesn't have anything to say. Gods, this is the first time in two hundred years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Um, are you all right? Hmm? Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Just wanted to double check, make sure we were good. All right, let's go to bed. We will end the day. Do you want to end the day? You don't have enough camp supplies. Yes, I do have enough camp supplies. I don't know why you tell me that. And we got a level. Nice. Well, I got a level. She got a level. Shadowheart didn't get one. Um, Uh-oh, what's happening? Who are you? Oh, it's Will. Oh, look, Mazora. Yay. Um, why do we have demons everywhere? Come, sisters, be my testament. No uh -oh. tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Uh, let's see. Please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the hells, exemplars of justice. Uh huh. Enough, Mesora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Uh, of course we do. Sisters. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Uh, then break it already. Will doesn't need to wait six months. What are you proposing? Yeah, she's up to something. A life for a life. Uh, no of course. Is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard. A choice is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. 
I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Oh, that's lovely. Zariel. I won't let her take will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. <sighs> what will happen to Will's power if he breaks the pact? Uh, save your father, Will. The city will need him to help rebuild. Do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. Break the pact. You deserve your freedom. Let your father die. When the city's free, you can take his place. Um. Wow, that's just that's that's lovely. That is lovely. Okay. Uh, save your father, I guess. Yeah, sentence yourself to Do it then. Claim my soul for Zariel. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Got a new mission, pup. Go save your father. He's locked in a very nasty place. Gortash's secret command center and prison. Oh. Lucky for you, I know the way in. I'll mark your map. After all, a deal's a deal. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Wow. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, that's, that's lovely. That is lovely. Okay, um, oh, so now you're just gonna hang out in my crib? Because why not? Scratch, go bite her. Why the stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. You forced Will to make an impossible choice. Will sacrificed his soul for his father. You better fulfill your end of the bargain. You're as cunning as a fox. It's a delight to see you in action. I don't think that's the one that I want to use. Um... The pup dug his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. I've always been the giving type, after all. To wit, go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless, and I know you wouldn't want that. Uh, of course not. Um, what do you have planned for Will now that the pack is eternally sealed? Focus on the elder brain. I'd hate to clog that infected head of yours with needless details. I'm sure my infected brain has room for a hint at least. Gotta get a 15. Come on, big numbers. Nice. Will's a gifted hunter, and Zariel's made her share of enemies in and out of the Hells. Devils, demons, deserters. They're a great burden on the Lord of the First. Clause G, Section 9. Targets shall be limited to the Infernal, the Demonic, the Heartless, and the Soulless. The clause still holds. 
As long as Will doesn't tug on my leash, he'll be stalking only the wickedest prey. It's a win-win. Uh-huh. You have the best ideas. Uh, you left Carlac alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? What can you tell me about the Hells? Uh, you never told me how the Absolutist captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. Uh-huh. The nine hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Okay, let's see. Hmm. If you're going to be staying, I need something in return. Oh? Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I'm not even using Will. I tell you what. When the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Like I said, I'm the giving type. Uh-huh. Uh, you left Carlac alone. You are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Okay. Yeah, I, I know telling her to leave ain't gonna do us any good. I mean, <sighs> she is right. We do have we do have Will's power on our side. I guess. I don't Since agree with we it. Arrived in the city, I can't help but feel a little anxious. I'm not sure I know why. Um, well, we've plenty to be anxious about. Tadpoles, armies of the absolute. How can I, I don't help? I think it's what happens if we fail that concerns me. We'll be beyond our worries at that point. I think what bothers me is what happens if we succeed. I've never been able to write my own future. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Uh, it doesn't have to be a daunting prospect. Just dream about what you'd like. Start at the beginning. Imagine it's the day after we defeat the Absolute. What then? Um. Well, I want to save my parents, of course. Take them away. Far from Shah's influence. Someplace peaceful. Away from the city, perhaps. Okay. Um, go on. What about me? There's nothing wrong with the city. You grew up here. Let's let her go on. I like room for animals. Lots of them. All shapes and sizes. So long as they appreciate a warm fire and more affection than they know what to do with. Uh, don't stop. What else? I want to grow flowers. I want to be surrounded by colors every day 
I'm tired of darkness. Okay. Um, anything else? Yes. I want to share it all with you. Oh. If you're willing. Uh, let's see what we got. Of course I'm willing. Let's see how we fare. Perhaps I'll get a better offer. Uh, of course. It sounds like I have everything I need. More of life than I'd ever imagined possible without Shaw. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much almost sealed the deal with Shadowheart here. Double check, make sure she don't have anything else to say. It have been easy for Will to resign himself to the pact. But I'm glad he chose his father. Okay. All right. Twice Mazorus held my feet to the fire, and twice was I burnt. I didn't do it. But my father will live. We will return the Grand Duke to his people. And forever a devil's leash will choke me. Uh, you did the right thing, the selfless thing. It wasn't much of a sacrifice. You already, you were already packed it right. I wouldn't give up hope. Maybe we'll find another way out. Chin up. Uh, you did the right thing. Uh, that means a lot. But understand, I don't plan to wallow in self-pity. More than anything, I'm elated that there's hope yet for my father. We should hurry to this mystery prison and retrieve my father. <laughs> Before Mazora tries pulling more tricks. Let's get going then. We got a duke to rescue. We're bound to anger Gortash if, we're mess if we go messing in his prison. Your father's still got a tadpole in his head. Remember, rescuing doesn't mean curing. This prison's in the lower city. Let's move. Raven Guard's still infected. We can rescue him, but we can't cure him. The Emperor promises incredible powers. We will knock him out if we need to. <laughs> or restrain. Your skull vibrates in concord with the astral prism. Bring me to your duke. I will shield him as I shield you. Why would you do that? Better to bring him into the fold than to leave you distracted by regret. Well then, I'm not about to say no. Anything more we should discuss? Um, no, 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 no. All right, we got all that. Anyone else have a thing to speak? Nope. All right, well, let's go call it a night, I guess. Okay. All right, guys. Well, give me just a second, and then we will level up our characters, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So, let's hop into getting our levels done real fast. So, what level is this for me? As it takes five minutes to load. Level 11. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So what does that get us? That gets us 125 hit points. That is, that's relatively solid. What do we got here? We got improved divine smite. Melee weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 8 radiant damage. Nice. And then we got level 3 spell slot. Okay, so what, what spells do we have here? We have... Elemental weapon. Imbue a weapon with elemental power. It receives a plus one bonus to attack rolls. I think we already had that one. Uh, revivify. Blinding smite. Okay, we have that, yes. We have daylight. Okay. Increases 
Crusader's Mantle. And Warden of Vitality. You know, I wonder. It says we have Daylight. Just out of curiosity, does that mean that I can roll up into like... Like, the, the dude that's messing with uh, Asterion, can we roll up there and summon Daylight and just, like, blast him? Like, turn him to dust instantly? I wonder if that's the case. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off this one. Or do we want to get rid of A? No. Command. I don't ever use Command. We're gonna get rid of Command and I'm gonna put Daylight in. We're gonna... We're going to try it. it. We might as well try it. So, no harm in trying stuff. And if nothing else, hey, it's a, it's a light spell. So, we got rid of our ring. So, yeah, we'll replace it. All right, let's try that. So far, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. I still I still think that they should have put it pushed it up to level 15 cuz I just even even at 125, I'm like, yeah, you're not going to get two, three hundred health if you're, you know, one more level to max. It's just no way. I don't know. I, I just like my dudes to be far from squishy. Uh, improved extra attack. You can make two additional attacks after attacking with your main weapon, main hand weapon. Oh, so she can do three attacks? No, she can four? It's either three or four. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. Well, you know what? That That's cool. I like that. Go get him, Lazelle. And Asterion has a level. He's up to level 80. Or health is up to 80. He has reliable talent. When you make an ability check with a skill you are proficient with, the lowest result you can roll on the dice is a 10 jackpot yeah that's gonna make that's gonna make opening opening locks like that much easier because you know our our dice has changed it's you know it, it's so much better so much better all right and we gained a spell what spell do we got we can have blur crown of madness hold person uh phantasmal force Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Charm Person, Color Spray, or Sleep. Um. I really don't know. That's only three. That's a ten. I mean, that'd make him harder to hit. I guess let's do blur. I mean, well, we've already got blur on the ring, though. Let's not do blur. Huh. I don't know. Charm might work with... I don't know if I want to do Charm or if I want to do Crown of Madness. I kind of want to do Crown of Madness. Yeah, let's do Crown of Madness and see what that does for us. Maybe we can, maybe we can pull it off. Okay, so the only one who didn't get a level was Shadow Heart, huh? Literally, once again, right there, 196 points, and Shadow Heart gets a level. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. We've rested up. We're all good to go. I think we're going to go out the main door this time. That way we don't have to teleport back over to that thing. Oh, you know what we do need to do? We need to go get us a paper. We need to go see. We need to go see. Oh, it did put us out here. Okay, well, that's. Let's see if we can get off. No, you're not going to... Okay, well, this is going to be one of those days, then. Yeah. 
Is there a way I can get down somehow without hurting myself? Well, there's a ladder right there. I mean, that would get me down to that room. Oh, that's all we had to do. Oh, we didn't even have to break into that. We could have came over here. Ah, so that's okay. Okay, yeah, because that's where that little platform is. Well, you know, we went the way we went, so that, that's okay. That is 100% okay. Where is the closest spot to the ground? Can't believe we can't just jump back on top of that. Can I, can I just get on it? No, we can't. All right, well, uh, let's see. Do we have a scroll of feather fall then? I do have a couple scrolls. Let me go ahead and cast the spell. There we go. And we left that door open. Nice. Why is there a blood stain right there? I don't even know. Something's on my mind. Sorry, was I not clear enough last time? Uh, yeah, dude, you don't sell the sheets. Okay, I gotcha. Where's that kid at? There he is. Yeah, I'd love a copy. Alright, where are we at with that broadsheet right there? Adventurers not still watch our best hope for the city, claims expert. <laughs> Drizzt impersonator quested from Orcish Festival. Silver, Silver Bell Melody Extravaganza coming soon. Water Davian Splendor. Castle Lantern Retinue. Okay. Um, Lord Gortash to become first ever Archduke. Green Grocer worried by crops growing in lewd shapes. Okay. Uh, I'm not even sure what to say about that one. Um, I guess let me go ahead and send this box back to camp. And what do you got to say? Well, well. The very unlikely hero of our latest gazette. Don't let the fame go to your head now. Hmm. Wasn't planning on it, but, you know. I hope the gazette is right about you. This city's in desperate need of good folk. So does that improve everyone's disposition against me? Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. It's I just, think it did. Uh, you're very impressive as all. Yes, bask in my glory. We bet you've gotten up to all sorts, but we won't keep you. I bet it'll be all in the next gazette anyway. Hey. Oh, you know those dudes are mad. You know they are probably just like fuming. Let's see how these people's attitudes towards me are. They were kind of stuck up yesterday. If you do speak to Lord Gortash, please give him my regards. My name's Ashwin. Thank you. Hmm. Kind of. If, uh, if you ever happen to see someone attended Steel Watch's schematics, I wouldn't say no to taking a peek. I'm sure you wouldn't. Put your faith in Lightbringer Gortash and he will continue to smile. Yeah, no. What are you waiting for? You should be preparing yourself to face the absolute in Lord Gortash's name. I don't know about all that. 
You might want to consider putting those skills of yours at Lord Goltash's disposal. If a little helps. Only Lord, you should be waiting at the walls for the army of the Absolute. A true champion of Lord Gortash. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to be Lord Gortash's champion by no means. I wonder if they police every trade in the city the way they're watching over us. I am in the middle of official fist business, so kindly step back. Thank you. Yeah, official fist business. So does that mean he's fisting? Sorry, I couldn't help myself on that one. Nothing but lies and drivel. You do well to dump your own copies. <laughs> Newsflash, dipshit. You're interrupting me. Make like a page and turn. Wow. Such hostilities. No time to chat, mate. Sorry. Since Gortash donated this printing machine, we've had ridiculous volume to shift. So can I come in here without people being mad at me? Don't be silly. Of course he will. Well, Mr. Needle. No, 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 no. Go down, go down. Because you're not getting stuck up there again. She learned. Yay. Busy, busy, busy. Huh? Are you still standing there gawking? Shove off. Wow. Don't attack me. I'm just coming to rub it in his face. Can't write a bloody shopping list at the minute with all these eyes on me. Um, let's see what the they have to say first. Hang on. Wait. Stay there. You reminded me of that word I was looking for. Uh, cor, cor, corpusculent. That's it. Corpusculent. As you were. I don't even know what corpusculent means. I'll have to look that one up. Damn Unless y'all know. What Damn is corpusculent? Still missing one link. Oi, shove off. Don't be peeking at my scoop. T no one's peeking at your scoop. Lord Gortash is going to destroy me. I swear. You'll rue the day you crossed Edvard Needle. Will I? Will I rule the, uh, rue the day or whatever you said? Yeah, I can't go down there. It's red. And I can't open up that door. Okay. Well, you know what? I am just fine with what we did. So everyone's, everyone's opinion of us has improved. I'm liking it. Hopefully that means that we won't have too much trouble as we go forth and do things in the city and all that kind of good stuff. Um, we've got two levels. We just need to get Shadowheart her level. New slash dipshit. Oh, yeah, that's you again, isn't it? Okay. Well, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is, but that's all right. What is this little fist patrol doing? God is busy with that patrol and has... Well, fine. Be like that. These tax hikes are enough to make my eyes. Just think, with how advanced the steel watch is now, imagine where we'll be in a year, in a decade. Exciting times indeed. Yeah, not sure I quite agree with that, but all right. Traveler, remember, this ain't the blushing mermaid. 
It's the elf song. So behave yourself. Ah, uh, you must be the tavern tired muscle. Right. And a lonely job it is too. When you're the muscle, no one thinks about your heart. Oh. To be honest, you don't look very scary, very approachable. Maybe you should change jobs. Can you sing? A tavern always needs a bard. Uh, do you need a pat on the back? Um. That's just rude. I wasn't saying it to be rude. I was just saying, I mean, you're full armor. You're an orc. And you're wondering why people are, like, being upset. Tears balls. Just lost the best job I ever had. Easy work in the upper city. But you don't care. And why should you? Sorry I said anything. Okay. Well. The service here is worse than ever. What do you have to do to get a drink around here? I wonder. Oh, that takes us into the rented rooms. Never mind. Never mind. That's not what I was trying to do. But eh, I guess we'll go ahead and end it right here, guys. So we got we got the uh, the Gazette turned around. So we got the good article published about us today. We upset the publisher, and we got a couple levels. So, yeah, I think today was a, a pretty productive day, but that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.